welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. Today's video is part of my 2019 wedding series DIYs. Here I have created for you a gorgeous set of candle holders that I'm calling Diamonds and Pearls. If you're one of my longtime subscribers, then you'll know that I created a set of candle holders called Diamonds and Pearls a couple of years ago. You all really seem to like those, so I decided to create another set for 2019. Although I created these for a wedding, they will look beautiful in your home as part of your everyday decor. And let's not forget as a Mother's Day gift as well. Also, I'm hosting a crush class giveaway, so make sure you comment and like this video and you're subscribed as well. I'll be picking my winner from the comments below this video. Now on to the DIY. Start out by gluing two Dollar Tree candle holders together and make sure you use a strong glue. I'm using E6000. Make sure that you put glue around the entire rim of the candle holder. Put both candle holders together and then put them aside to dry. Next up, you'll need one of the Dollar Tree tea light holders and two Dollar Tree napkin rings. We're going to take the two napkin rings, line them up, and glue them together. I used E6000 for a permanent hold. After I connected the napkin rings, I added some hot glue to hold them together while the E6000 sets up. Next, add some glue to the top of your napkin ring and then glue the tea light holder on top and make sure it's centered. Once you're done, put it aside to dry. Now I'm going to decorate one of the Dollar Tree cylinder vases. This is the shorter one. I think it measures about 7.25 inches. Start out by cutting some of my bling wrap from totallydazzle.com. And guys, I have created so many DIYs with just one roll of a bling. So if you are into heavy crafting, I would advise you to go over and purchase a roll from her. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm going to cut two strips of bling for the top. And there will be four rolls of bling on each strip. Then I'm going to cut two strips of bling for the bottom as well, and there will be two rolls of bling on those strips. I'll also be using some of my flower bling for this DIY. I'm going to cut a strip for the top and a strip for the bottom. This bling comes in a large bulky roll as well, and I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can purchase it. What you want to do is measure the bling around the face and then cut it. Next, take a lighter and burn off the exposed threads. I'm going to start out by using the Fix All Glue from Dollar Tree to glue my bling in place because it dries clear. I dab some glue at the top of the vase and then use a popsicle stick to smooth it out. Apply the glue in small sections, adding the bling along the way. After you're done adding your bling, Make sure that it's straight all the way around. Then move to the bottom of the vase and add a strip of bling around it as well. After you're done, your vase should look like this. Now I'm going to set this aside and let the glue set up for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to decorate my tea light holder and napkin rings. I measured and cut the bling. Use a strip of hot glue to hold the bling in place. I then spread on some fix-all glue to make sure that the bling was glued permanently. Next, I cut another row of my flower bling to glue around the top of my napkin rings. This time around, I use some fix-all glue along with hot glue to hold the bling in place while it dries. When you're done, your tea light holder should look like this. Next, I'll decorate the center of my flower bling with some of these flat back pearls. I sifted through the pearls and decided to use some really small ones. I also cut some of the flower bling into individual pieces and I'll be adding pearls to the center of those as well. And I'm going to use my jam picker tool to pick up the pearls to make this process go by faster. Lay the piece down sideways 
and use hot glue to glue the pearls in place. When you're done, your piece should look like this. Now it's time to finish decorating the vase. I'll add a row of flower bling at the top and the bottom of the vase, and I'll use Dollar Tree Fix All along with hot glue like I did on the napkin rings. Off camera, I added my second row of bling on the bottom of the vase. Now I'll add a second row of bling to the top of the vase. I'll be using Fix All Glue because it dries clear. I'll finish up my design by adding rhinestones and flagback pearls to the flowers. This time around, I'm using larger flagback pearls and rhinestones around the same size. Once you're done, your vase should look like this. And now we have our thing diamonds and pearls. As you can see, this is a fast and easy craft. Next, we'll decorate the base of the candle holder. I'm going to decorate both necks of the candle holders with this bling. And there's four rows on each strip. I'm going to use Fix All to glue this on as well, but because of how the candle necks are shaped, I'm going to start out by adding hot glue and then attach the bling that way. After I was done, I added a strip of bling where the two candle holders met. Next, I'll glue on the individual flowers that I attached the pearls to earlier. Because I want to create a strong hold, I'll be using Fix All along with hot glue to glue these in place. I'm going to start out by decorating the necks of the candle holders. Hold the flower in place until the hot glue sets up. Some flowers might overlap other flowers, so make sure you hold it in place until the hot glue sets up. I'll finish decorating the necks off camera, but now I'll show you how to decorate the base. Again, because we want a really strong hold, we'll use some Fix All along with hot glue to glue these flowers to the base of the candle holder. I'll continue to add the flowers to the base of the candle holder come back and then continue on with the DIY. Back to our vase, we're going to take our tea light holder and glue it to the bottom of the vase. Because I want to create a permanent hold, I'll use some E6000 to glue both pieces together. I used a popsicle stick to apply the E6000 to the napkin ring. I then held the tea light holder with two fingers to place it in the center of my vase. If you find it is not in the center, just move it around until it is. Don't worry about any smear glue because it dries clear. After you center your tea light, do something to press your tea light holder firmly against the vase. Now make one last check to make sure that it's centered. Now for our final step, we're going to put some E6000 around the top of the base and then glue both pieces together, and we're done. When you attach the vase to the base, make sure it's centered as well. Let it dry for 24 hours, and it's ready for use or gift giving. And here are my completed candle holders. I think this set of diamond and pearl candle holders turned out just as beautiful as the first set that I made. And if you haven't seen my previous diamond and pearl candle holders video, 
I'll be sure to leave a link in the information section below this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I really hope that I've inspired someone to recreate them. So if you plan on doing that, tell me about it in the comments below. Also, I'm very excited to let you guys know that my last DIY was featured on the show called Right This Minute. And if you'd like to see it, I'll leave a link in the information section to it as well. Okay, everyone, this completes my DIY. I'll be back with a new one on Thursday, and I hope to see you then. Thanks so much for watching.